Hi everyone, this is Marina the Passionate Gardener. I live in Riverside, California and I am a homestead homie. You guys are watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Bye! Hey guys, um, I am fermenting. It's one of my favorite things to do. I ferment probably like every other day. I ferment and I ferment because we eat so much. We'll link above. We have lots and lots of fermenting videos. So what I wanted to do is I'm just kind of throwing some stuff together. There's so many things you can do with ferment. You can ferment any vegetable. So over this coming summer, we're going to be doing a lot of different kind of um, recipes on different ferments. So stay tuned for that. But um, I wanted to show you today, I had, you know, we just had St. Patrick's Day and so there was cabbage everywhere. So um, I have a lot of extra cabbage that I got. So I'm going to go ahead and ferment some cabbage and then what I did was in my little chopper, um, I chopped up like three carrots and an onion and some a ginger nub and some garlic and some um, green onions and I did the tops. So that's what I do. I'm just going to put them in there with some salt and then show, kind of show you what I did. The neat thing about whoops, ferments is you can do anything that you want. You can put whatever herbs and seasonings that you want. I mean, whatever your taste like. I mean, there's nothing right, there's nothing wrong. I mean, you can do whatever your little taste buds like. Now, what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna put in a couple, I'm gonna probably do about a half a gallon, which is this big here. And um, I'm gonna do about two heaping tablespoons in here. So, I'm just kind of put them all over the place. And then I'm going to mash it up with my masher. Now, I really, really, really enjoy trying new things. As you can see over here, I have a couple ferments that I have fermenting right now. I did, um, that's the green onions and some carrots and some red cabbage. And then this one here is just garlic and carrots and then this one over here is just beets I think and garlic I love I love 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 the beets so what I'm doing over here is I'm getting my little masher and I am going to mash up to get all the juices kind of break the cell wall of the cabbage and I'm going to get the natural juices to kind of flow out of this now I'm gonna, this is a different way of fermenting. They, they call it like dry salting because I'm just gonna use the salt compared to like if I would did the carrots over here, I did, which is more in a brine and then the um, carrots and the cabbage. I did that in a brine, which is gonna be the salt and the water mix. So this is more of a dry one that I'm doing. And there's two different ways of doing it, okay? So I'm just gonna mash this and I'm just gonna keep mashing. And while I'm mashing, I want you to look at the ferments that I have over there and look at the difference between the two. The one on um, that has the cabbage, red cabbage, and the carrots, do you notice how the liquid is clear at the top? It's because that is a newer ferment. I just did that about a day and a half or day and a half ago, I think. And then the one over that just has the carrots in it has a cloudy one. That means it's a good ferment. It's doing really good um, over here. And um, that's probably fermented about a week. And I can, if I want to eat that, I could if I wanted, or I could let it go another week or so. So it just depends on how sour you want them or just the taste. So those are both really good ferments. Now what I'm going to do on this dry pack, or the dry salting that I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead in a second and put it in the container and show you how I do that. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes, and it's starting to get a nice liquid in there. Now, you could let it set longer if you wanted, but I'm in a hurry, so I'm not going to do it, and I'm going to show you what you can do if you're in a hurry, too. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is get my mason jar. If you're going to do a quart or if you're going to do a um, half gallon, whatever you're going to do, and if you want to, you can add more seasoning. So, like, if you want to put peppercorns in there, um, you could do red pepper flakes. So what I think I'm going to do is just put a little bit of red pepper flakes in it. It's going to give it a little bit of a spicy flavor. 
just a few. And then I'm going to put a few peppercorns in there too. Okay, and then I'm going to mash it up and then I'm going to go ahead and put it into my mason jar. I love to ferment with mason jars. It is the easiest thing because there's so many different sizes. If I want to give some as a gift to someone, I can put them in a smaller jar. But mason jars are the best. They're easy to store. You know, I don't have to worry about a great big crock. I don't have to worry about, you know, the, the airlock breaking and all that. And I just really love the way mason jars work. And so that's what I've always used. So what I wanted to show you is I'm going to go ahead and put my stuff in here. You want to fill it up to the top. Now, as you were noticing earlier, I was using this wooden packer and it's made out of acacia wood. It's complete fermentation kit, a Mason Tops complete fermentation kit that has this, it's called a pickle packer and it's made out of acacia wood. And I really like it because it's really aerodynamic and it works very well. And I have to show you the creme de la creme. It's like the most awesome invention um, and has worked wonderful. I do all my ferments with it now and I, I can't believe it makes my life so much easier now. All right, so dump some of this out. I'm gonna pack it good because I can make another batch. So what's gonna happen with this ferment is I'm not gonna really put a lot of water into it because it's gonna get more liquid since I, I haven't, I'm waiting and I haven't really um, let it set long enough. So I'm gonna put in what I can. And I'm not going to fill it all the way up to the top because it will get more water probably by tomorrow. All right. That was a whole head of cabbage and three carrots and an onion and some garlic and some ginger. So I'm going to use my pickle packer here by the mason tops. Yeah, that works good. I think I'll put more in. And then show you how I'm going to put on the top. I always had problems with the weights. I was using a rock, you know, I was using, you know, food that I was fermenting, using it, putting it on top. But they came up with, like the mason jars, this thing called a pickle puck. It looks just like a hockey puck. It's really heavy duty and I just love it. And you'd use, when you use this, you use it on the wide mouth jars and it just fits just like that and it's going to keep the stuff down just like that okay and then what i'm going to do is it has this thing called a pickle pipe kind of looks like a little nipple thing it has a little hole in it and what it's going to do is when i i'm going to wipe the top off you're going to put it on top and it will let the air come out and you don't have to worry about burping it i would have to burp it worry about it doug would this is so easy. You just ferment it, leave it, and then when you're ready, you can go ahead and, you know, take the lid off. So this has been fabulous. What I'm going to do, since it's a little early and I didn't let it set long enough, all right, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of filtered water in there, just a little, because it's going to get some more juice in here. All right? And then, and you're going to make sure you have enough headspace because you're going to get more juice in here. Then I'm going to put my pickle pipe on top of it and then all you do is use the ring from your mason jar and you put it over it just like that and then you are going to set it somewhere and let it ferment now um, fermenting this is kind of sauerkrauty it could be kimchi um, if I wanted a little more crunchy, I might not let it ferment as long. I might let this ferment just maybe for five, six days, or I can let it go longer if I wanted. It just depends how quickly I want to eat it. So um, I just, I really, truly, th this has been the greatest thing for me at home. It has helped me out so much. And the neat thing about this um, Mason Tops kit, it comes with a fermenting guide. So it's like, you know, those stories or those books about fermenting, you know, or doing things for dummies. This thing is great. It goes over lots of different recipes, just basic things for, about fermenting. It's very easy, beautiful color pictures in it, and um, 
it just really makes life easy. So some of you guys who are, you know, scared about fermenting or not quite sure how to do it, this really helps tremendously on how to do it. All right, so I really want to bring the best thing for you guys that you can help with your health because I am a big advocate of adding a fermented food into your diet every single day. And this is a great easy way of doing it. And especially with gardening season coming and all the fresh vegetables coming, you know, you need those probiotic rich foods to help you know, with your, your gut and healing. And I cannot tell you what a great product this is. The um, pickle pipe, which is made of silicone. Um, and what's so nice about that, it doesn't leach any chemicals like a plastic or anything would. So I really like that. And then the pickle puff that you put in to pack it down, made out of that nice glass, you know, from the mason jar companies or mason tops and the pickle packer. I mean, this is just, like I said earlier, fermenting for dummies. It's so simple, so easy. Um, I mean, I love it. I love it. It's so, so simple because I don't ever have to worry about burping it again. It was always such a hassle for me. And then, I, I mean, it's easy. And then the great thing is when you're done fermenting it, you just take the pickle pipe off and then you just put the flat back on it. And then you put it in your refrigerator or your root cellar. I mean, it's easy, speezy, lemon squeezy, as those kids say. So um, we have secured you guys a 10% coupon below. Check it below there with with Mason Tops, and 10%. Um, so you can on any product, you know, on the whole complete kit like this is, you can get that. You can get the tops. I mean, there's so many neat things. Just check on the link. It'll have our picture on it. And I cannot stress enough what a wonderful thing this is and has just saved my life so much because now I can just keep fermenting and not worry about them. And I mean, I just love it. So check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Check out the coupon, co coupon code below. I'm getting cuckooed here. I think it's time for me to go. And um, I will talk to you guys later. Happy fermenting. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead Homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.